Yo, what's up guys, Exhibit here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to have smooth cinematics in After Effects, so it's not just a boring static scene, so yeah, I'll show you what I mean, so I have my clip right here, I'm going to put it in a new comp, and we're going to RAM preview this out just to show you what it looks like at first, and it's actually a really long cinematic, because I wanted to record it really slow, have a lot of frames, but basically it just the computer's slow it spins around this little turret thing and yeah that's basically how it does and so like it's all just the same speed and it's really slow and boring so I'm going to show you guys how to change that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a point that I want to start I'm just going to start here I'm going to push alt and left bracket and that will trim that down I'm just going to slide this over here with the left bracket. So here's a start. So then what you want, we're going to do this with time remapping. And if you don't know what that means, well, just follow my directions. It's kind of hard to explain, but push Control Alt T for Windows. I don't really know Mac, whatever. But you want to open this up and you'll get time remapping. You want to place a new keyframe by pushing this. It's so basically the time to here and the time to here these keyframes represent beginning to end I trimmed the clip and I made this the new beginning that's why I pushed control bracket before so now wherever I move this that's where the new ending will be so if I want the ending to be let's put it right here okay so just, we're just make it five seconds I just want the ending to be right here. That's going to be really fast, actually. I don't think this will look good, but we'll just see. Maybe it won't be. Yeah, excuse my slow computer. Alright, any day now. Alright, so yeah, it's just going to whip around this little turret thing, and it'll end up over by the end of the ship here. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but it seems to... it's not that bad of a speed, so we're just going to do that. So I'm just going to trim this down. Alright, so this is our work area, is the five seconds that we have here. This is just... I'm just doing this for this one cinematic, so yeah. So what you want to do next is select both of these keyframes, push F9, which easy eases them, and then you want to push this graph editor. And then you see this represents the time and how it starts off nothing, it speeds up as it goes up, it evens out in the middle, and it slows back down. So what we're going to do is click off click on this first keyframe you want to drag it so that the time is up so you want to do a loop like this and then you want to take the last keyframe and you're going to want to loop it down like this now you're going to want to be careful because you don't want this line to dip otherwise it'll end up like going backwards it'll go like ear. so yeah, <laughs> you don't want to do that so basically now we're going to preview this out. So that yeah, should zoom right into the cinematic then. Then it'll be slower towards the middle. And then it'll zoom back out when it gets to the end of the cinematic. So it makes it look really smooth. I just wish my computer wasn't freaking slow though. I'm just going to preview the beginning and the end. Because I don't know if my computer can take <laughs> All of it. So yeah, see how it zooms in real quick? That's really fast. Okay, we're going to change that actually. So I'm just going to have the cinematic start right here. So if you want to change the position, you see how it does that weird, like, like the camera shakes almost? So I'm going to say I want to move the starting point to here. We're going to take this keyframe and hold shift and it'll snap right to the cursor. Oh wait, no, no, I'm dumb. Okay, never mind. Forget that. Control Z. What I'm going to want to do is add a new keyframe, delete this one, and then trim the comp to that. 
Okay, I think I lost the keyframe. Okay, keyframe. And then we're going to have to go back to the graph editor. And we're just going to raise this up again. There we go. So this is just kind of a like trial and error thing to find what the best timing is for everything. You can adjust the graphs and the keyframes and the starting and ending points and all that to make it run smoothly. So, so yeah, see how it kind of it starts off faster, then it gets slower as it pans through this. So I'm going to preview the end now and show you how it zooms out. So it's going slow. And then it's going to zoom out. Any day now, computer. Alright, see how it like zooms out, it gives it that cool little effect. So, okay, now bear with me guys, I'll render out the rest of this thing. It'll be a couple seconds with this. Just want to show you guys what the full thing looks like. I don't know why my computer's being so slow today, it's probably because I'm running my screen capture software, but what can you do? Alright, this is almost done here, and we'll see what it looks like. So it zooms in, slows down, and then it zooms back out. It's kind of an abrupt ending. So I could always go to the graph editor. Oh, not that. Graph editor. Okay, I gotta select the keyframes. Graph editor. And tone this down so it's more like that. And I won't be as abrupt. I'm not gonna render this whole thing out. So I'm just gonna go back to here. it should be not as abrupt. The goal is just to make it nice and smooth so it's not just a boring same speed every time kind of thing. So yeah, it just zooms right out. I'll show a little bit more of that. Alright. Alright, yeah, that looks really nice. So yeah, that's basically the tutorial, guys. If you have any other questions, just hit me up on Twitter, leave a comment or something, and give me more ideas on tutorials you guys want to see, because I enjoy doing these, and I really don't know what you guys want to know, but I'll keep trying to pump out tutorials. So yeah, if you enjoyed or if this helped, please leave a like and sub. Peace out.